Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. Now you're going to be seeing a lot of things pop up for me you're not used to seeing, such as the trendy shorts. But look, I'm not straying from the work we're doing here, okay? The longer videos will continue. The other stuff is just a way in which to attract more viewers and subscribers. You see, the more people that drop by here, the more eyes we open. And hey, that's been the goal from day one. And don't be hating because of my good fashion sense. Hey, I'm skinny and it's cold down here right now, okay? Cut the snow, please. Okay. Our new methods of cutting through these grayscale rover images is causing a ruckus, and I couldn't be happier. But look at all this ridiculousness. What is that? I mean, what is that? Okay, this grayscale image, nav cam image, the ridiculous rocks, you know, I don't care about them anymore. I really don't because we're never going to get to the bottom of these ridiculous rocks that aren't rocks. And we all know they aren't rocks. And yes, that's probably water back there. And there's that again. What is that? Okay, I really just don't care about these rocks that aren't rocks anymore because the rock headed general public thinks they're rocks and that's all there is to it. So people that think that the rocks can just go rock themselves. I don't care anymore, but I do care about this. The surface and nearby surface on which the rovers traverse. Seemingly harmless. Nobody was really looking there. The truth was right in front of us the whole time. If you haven't seen our videos, our recent videos, on how we are accomplishing this, go back and watch. It's very important. There are links in the description. But the evidence continues that these rovers are rolling right on top of a buried civilization. Framework. Everywhere. All of these images are from the rover Curiosity Soul 3313. All of them. You know, this method doesn't just expose open holes and framework, you know, the structure underneath. It also shows, or should I say better defines, gives more clarity to these objects and thin pieces of outer coverings that are littering the surface. Thin material that's been ripped away from something. And I'm going to continue to ask this question. Why is there a perfect right angle there on the surface? Why? Why? Why is that? Oh, there's the reason. Look at that, folks. This is real. If you don't understand what we're doing here, we've already proven this out. Go back and watch the videos that are in the description and see how it's being done. So here I would like you to see that, you know, this object that is above the surface slightly, it's still above the surface. The, the shadow is still there, but notice it is a thin material. It's a sheet of something, something that's been ripped away from something I'm going to have to say artificial, a non-fractal object. That's right. Images are all from the same Martian day. And you will notice some of them overlap. You'll see a slightly different angle of something you saw in another image, but it's still there. And I don't think that's a chicken foot in the upper right, just for the um, record. Now, I just want you to take a look at this. I'm going to shut up and just let you pay attention to some of the detail. Really look close for a minute. Now we're careful to look for things called false inversions and I don't believe that's what we have here. I believe that is a hollow object with something in it. False inversions can be caused by shadows. You gotta watch that and really careful of that. Here's another image with that same object to the left. And we've scrutinized this with stereographic 3D and it holds up to the test. I believe this is hollow with something inside it. Now I'm gonna shut up again and I just want you to really look at the detail. Look how things shine. Once you return contrast, at least close to where it should be, which is part of this exclusion process, things start to stand out. So just enjoy for a moment.
And now a moment of silence for the death of Mars. And the moment of silence is for humans because this fact, this tragedy has been suppressed. And it's not just a shame, it's a crime against humanity.